You want to create your life? I have three tips on how you can do that. But before I give you those tips, I want to remind you that in the words of James Clear, who wrote this great book, Atomic Habits, every action you take is a vote for the kind of person you want to be. He was referring to uh, building habits based on becoming that person. I'm referring to minimalism and choosing to live life intentionally with a clear understanding of what thoughts, things, and people add meaning and purpose. In fact, part of the framework for minimalism to allow for that intentionality is in getting clear on who you want to be. And I'm going to suggest that every action you take in life is a vote. Who you want to be is in direct correlation to what you do, what's on your calendar, how you spend your waking moments. And it's in line with what you keep, the physical things you have in your space, the mental thoughts you keep in your head. It all contributes to you becoming that person. When you do the work and you gain the clarity about who you want to be, you can more easily make decisions on what belongs in your life. And perhaps importantly, what doesn't? You are, after all, the architect of your life. You get to vote and create your life any way you like. The act of buying more than you need and keeping more than serves a purpose is not casting the best vote for you. Unless, of course, the person you want to be is overwhelmed, unprepared, out of time. While that sounds a little harsh, the reality is that in this consumer-driven society, many people are pulled into more a more mentality, and this almost subconscious way of thinking leaves you believing you need more in order to be more. And that couldn't be further from the truth. When you have too much in your head, your heart, your home, you're affected negatively. Your ability to see clearly what you want in and for your life is skewed, and therefore your vote is not in your favor. If you want your actions to positively reflect your life and the life you want to live, I want you to do these three things. Number one, dig. The kind of digging that you got to start with is not just into the piles of clutter on your countertops, but into your soul. You got to go there. To do that, ask yourself the following questions. What do I want to accomplish in life? Who do I want to be? What characteristics do I want to describe me? And how do I want to feel in my life? When you ask these questions, you can connect what you want to feel in your life with what you actually own and keep in your space and make sure they match. Number two, let go. Let go of what doesn't fit the vision you have for your life or your space. Letting go isn't always easy and it is made more difficult when emotions are attached to things. It is, however, a necessity for creating space, both physically and mentally. Space is freedom. It opens you up to be able to take your your next best step and cast your vote in favor of the person you want to be. And number three, build. If you want to be more organized or healthy or insert whatever is your goal, you must ask yourself, what does a person who is organized or healthy do? And then you got to carve out time every day, show up consistently and do those things. Remember why you want to do the work. Let it motivate you to act so you can build a solid foundation for your life. This work is imperative. And I say that emphatically because the older I get, the more important I think it is to be honest with yourself about who you want to be, what kind of life you want to live. It's important to live deliberately, intentionally, with some goal or direction based on you being the best version of yourself. I know that the world needs more of the best of you. It needs more of the talent and heart that only you can bring. And to achieve that, you must act with intention and treat this one wild, precious life you have as the power source that it is. Let go of what doesn't serve you so you can create space and spaces that positively affect you and therefore the world on every level. You've got my vote. I'd love to hear from you. Do you think your actions positively reflect your life and the life you want to live? What will you do differently starting today to change that? Remember, if you need help figuring this out, 
contact me, message me, or connect with me at francescaverry.com. Please remember this. You are the architect of your life. You have the power to choose the contents, the thoughts, things, and people that will make it a life you love.